Good morning, Don here, talking to you from my front porch overlooking the old swimming pool. We'll be using that pretty soon. It's all cleaned up. We had a big storm here the other day. It messed up everything. This is our front porch. Just got done doing the decks and the painting. Everything looks great. All right, today's workload is going to be... Uh, um, I'm doing emergency cleanups today. At the end of the day, I got a guy, a uh, regular customer of mine. Um, he lives in the same community that I'm going to be in this afternoon. So what we're going to do is go to Brentwood Estates first. We're going to be doing a mobile home wash. And then we're going to come home, eat some lunch real quick. Then we're going to go do a, a pretty large home. Just a house wash. And now she's adding other stuff on. We'll see if we can get to it. Uh, and then I got my buddy. He lives on the same block about, oh, he's a couple hundred addresses above where I'm going to be at today. So I'll just continue on down the road. He's having a party over the weekend. He forgot to call me. Uh, it just so happens that it's his lucky day. I'm going to be right in the neighborhood. So I'm going to go by and do his pool cage. He's emptying it out as we speak. And uh, it's going to be a good Friday with extra money onto the ticket. And then tomorrow I have another regular customer who's having family come down on Monday. And they forgot to call me and couldn't get me booked sooner. So I went ahead and... Uh, Added a Saturday work day on there. Well, it's probably about a three-hour job, maybe. Uh, but it's a nice big ticket, so I couldn't pass it up. We are ready to go down there. As you can see, the rig is ready to rock and roll. As I am ready to rock and roll. I hope you all have a good day today. Hope you enjoy the video. Going to try and uh, explain a couple things. I don't know what we're going to be cleaning and how bad it is today. But, you know, uh, if there's any uh, new stuff I can teach you, or if there's anything I can teach you, even you new guys, I'll be doing that today. It's always a free class at Super Blast Pressure Washing. Pay it forward. Don't charge for knowledge. Just give it out. You didn't know anything when you started. Did you pay to get it? Some of you have, some of you haven't. But I think it's just uh, downright crazy that you have to go to school to operate a garden hose. <laughs> just my take. All right, I'm Don from Super Blast. Let's get after it. All right, Don here from Super Blast Pressure Washing. I'm back. Okay, this is uh, going to be a unique episode, okay? You see this wire here? These are all lights, and they're all throughout this garden here. You see where my hose is? We're going to SH the front, SH this, go down that side, right? We're going to get all this all the way down the end. Then we're going to rinse all this off. Then we're going to take our hose very nicely and go and rinse around the side do the back rinse it off come down that side rinse it off we're going to go into this porch and get all this new screening done and then uh, clean the mobile home in there you can see it just needs a good wash uh, this one isn't too bad do it every year like i always show you see that it's just a little dirty Okay, so whenever you have all these ornaments and obstacles, lights going through gardens, which is not very often, you have to be careful. <clears throat> so that's why we're going to wash it all the way around and we're going to be done. Job layout. Very important. All right, I'm done. Let's get after it. Let's just take a little gander there. It's done from all the way there, all the way down. Didn't disturb a single wire. Didn't step on any of the bulbs. The hose didn't take anything out. All these windows are clean. Everything looks good back here. Stairs are clean. Everything's clean, 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 clean. All right, that's a good word, clean, clean, clean. You can say it any way you like and it still sounds good. You know what I mean? Definitely looks good. Okay, now. 
That's all been SH down the side there and rinsed. So now what we're gonna do is gonna do the back and we're gonna come down here. And we're gonna be getting after SH, SH, rinse, see where the rig is? Hose management, let's get after it, shall we? Okay, let's review how the job's going. As you can see, we got our hose here. We're gonna move this over here real quick before we go over it. Everything's gotta go in a straight line, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got everything heading back to the rig that way, okay? In this aspect of things, hoses are there. No obstacles, it's gonna go right to the reel, okay? All right, we got everything sh just like I said. And then I went all the way down the side right over here. Then I came in here, and all this has been done. So everything looks nice and clean. This is where I ended up. So now I'm gonna rinse all this out, get everything rinsed, and head back this way to the back, and then have my hose out of the screen room. You see where I'm going with this? Then we're gonna have the hose back here, and we're gonna rinse the back of the house off. What is that going to do? It's going to get the hose out of there. It's going to get it around here. Then we can just go straight to the rig, rinse the rest of the driveway off. And we'll be out of here, all right? It's just that easy. Just, just look at things while you're doing it and uh, come up with the best plan. And when you're doing obstacles like this, that was the best plan, all right? We'll be back for the rest of the satisfying rinse, which I'm going to go ahead and put that out front over here because you can see a lot better, see a lot more. I, I, I know you've seen me rinse a million things. And it's going to be quick. <laughs> you know, warp speed. And this is already rinsed. SH, so we're just going to go right here. Right in the middle of it all. Let's get after it. Get prepared for some wetness. That's how you do a job like this and you see how the hose ended up you can see it all the way down here in that other lot over there past the bicycles glistering in the grass it's like a viper it's like a snake in the grass anyway the job came out really good and all i did was go around and just be real careful about the lighting and stuff like that didn't disturb one single thing in the whole yard and there's a lot of stuff around here to go around all right place came out good this is a regular customer third visit out here and uh i'll be back next year all right, I'm Don from Superblast. I'm going to go grab some lunch early, and then we're going to go back, back to Silverthorn uh, HOA Country Club. We've got a golf course here. We've got two jobs to do. Had one job, uh, but we went ahead and jumped on another regular customer to bail them out and have a little party over the weekend. So we'll make it good for them, and that's why I have regular customers. All right, let's get after it. All right, here we are, job. Number two, pretty good sized house. We're just washing from where the cage starts 
all the way around to where the cage starts on that side we're going to rinse it all the way back then we're going to reel it in and we got another job in here pool cage the sidewalks the van's overheating it's out of coolant so we're letting it cool off uh the hoa community has another home in here for me to do so i'm going to be going right to the home uh with the van then i'm going to call triple a they're going to come out and get the truck my wife's going to bring me the tacoma and we're going to continue on all right see what i mean about having two of everything you guys would have those truck builds what are you going to do now your truck's down now you got to cancel all the jobs not super blast we got another truck we'll be back all right let's do some downstream class all right we have, uh, if you have a four gallon a minute machine, this is what you're gonna see right here. It's where you're gonna hook it up. It's where you're gonna hook your injector. All right, always keep your injector in a fresh bucket of water. You know, keeps everything working right. Keeps the chlorine from clogging everything up. So let's go ahead and get it set up here. Yank that puppy out. hook your injector up this is a 2.3 orifice for a five to eight gallon a minute machine okay I have a uh, piece of half inch PVC pipe with the end of the filter on there this keeps the thing down in there got it And roll now all we gotta do we got 200 feet of line peeled off of this job in the storage reel plug in and you're ready to go to work okay downstream injection is the easiest way to clean algae and mold off of buildings houses homes and it's an easy operation okay this is a 0015 wash jet tip this is a 40 15 wide rinse tip those turn the soap off this is a 0060 tall reach tip the original one this is a 2560 v jet soap tip these two turns the soap on these two turn it off got a grasshopper let's get to work job layout we're starting down there in the corner we're washing all the way around the other side we're going to rinse it all the way back then we're going to come to the hose reel the lady uh, also said she's going to schedule the pool cage to get done and these sidewalks out front and those uh, grass weeds growing out of the papers. All right, I'm Don. Let's get after it. Okay, you can see a big difference already. Everything's starting to get nice and clean. All the spider webs are getting knocked off. And what I mean by spider webs and stuff like that, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See this side over here? It looks nice and clean. You see this side over here? You see all that debris up there and spider stuff? It's just, you know, pollen, stuff floating in the air. Gotta get these rocks cleaned up real nice. See, this, uh, talking about the last pressure washer guy that was here said he didn't do that good of a job so you got to make sure you give your customer what they're paying for when they want the rocks clean where you see the black algae you got to get it off of there all right let's get after it
right, the homeowner just came home and looked at it. She had a very, very nice, surprising look on her face. She likes the job. I'm gonna rope this down the other end so you can see what's happening. Watch me come in and out, I guess. I don't know, we just gotta chlorinate all this down to this back part over here. I haven't been back here yet. The pool cage should be right here in the back. Oh, look at that view, nice view of the golf course and the lake. Isn't that nice? All right, we'll be coming around the back right here. All right. Let's get after it. monster looking good got it ran all the way down everything's looking good if you're wondering where I disappeared to I was over there cleaning up this uh, side door cleaning around the AC unit always do those little things man people people notice that stuff then they talk about it and they hire you back you know what I'm saying you gotta know you gotta know all right now we're gonna come around here and uh do the ever ever so exciting and satisfying runes let's get after it i gotta get her to close this door here how nice it looks way better nice and bright and white blew the driveway all off stop it spacer all the spider webs are gone i haven't even rinsed this yet well all the webs are gone just got some uh, mud dauber on top of that gutter there already rinsed the top part off let's go ahead and get after it we got one side to go down then we're going to get some fluid in the van we're going to go to the next job let's get after it Let's have a finished look. Came out really nice. I know you're wondering what the hell's behind this wall, right? I was. So a nice little area it needs to be cleaned up, but uh, cleaned up nice for the for the paint anyway. See, came out really nice. Nice little garden tub in there. It's beautiful. All the sockets came clean. Went ahead and hit the outside of the cage. Got all that mold off of there. Did around the AC units. Always do around the AC unit, you know? Check that out. It looks clean. Looks like you do a clean job, you know? People notice that kind of stuff. And they refer you. Hey, man. Super Blast pressure washer is very, very thorough. That's all you want them to say. 
All right, we'll see you at the next job. Let's get after it. All right, here we are, last job of the day. We're gonna be cleaning the sidewalk from that telephone pole thing there, right to there, on to. Gotta do the pool cage first, so let's get back here and get after that. It's not that big of a deal. He just wants the mold to be gone. That's why he called Don. I met this guy uh, when I was in the Black Sabbath tribute band. Him and his wife came out to watch us play. Got to talking. Found out I owned a pressure washing company. And here I am, my second visit. And it's not that bad either. Just a little green on the outside of that screen right there. And the rest of it's not that bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it. Hold it. Watch it. We're going to hit the outside real quick, and we're going to go on the inside and get after it. And he only wants it done from the soffits right here. If you drew a straight line from here across, that's where he wants it done. So we'll move this over a little bit. Be able to watch the whole thing right from here. Let's get after it. Let's take a look inside, huh? All beautifully cleaned. Looks really good in there. Now they're ready to swim. He says he's got it solar heated at 80 degrees. I'd be in that sucker right now. All right, let's get this hose out front. Get the sidewalk SH, get the mini Mondo out, blast that off. We're done for the day. Let's get after it. All right, it's the downhill run, folks. Let's get after it. Did I say to get after it? That's what it says right there. We better get after it. how you do it we'll have a little bit of pump up action right here due to this shady palm tree just a couple other spots along the way this hasn't been done in a couple years so they're on him about it all right that mini mondu works great there was a guy who said he had to save up for a mini mondu been saving for a whole year this guy claims to do twenty thousand dollar rust removal jobs and stuff why would you have my question is why would you have to save up you know, I don't get that. Anyway, if you retain all your money in the bank, you should have money 
to do anything. You know what I mean? You break down, you gotta be able to fix it, right? All right, and if you need a piece of equipment, you need to be able to buy it. Get after it! Now for the satisfying rinse. Take a look at that. Looks great. Gutter in the road looks really good. This is a customer of mine too, so haven't been over there in about a year and a half or so. The house looks pretty good except for in the front there. They'll be calling me back next. All right, we're gonna treat this stuff right here. You see that? This cookie stuff. All right. We'll be back for a final review of that, and that'll wrap it up for today. We got a big job tomorrow. Regular customer. Uh, the guy that owns the hot box pizza place over there on um, Spring Hill Drive. His parents, good people, big job. They have some company come over, so I'm going to bail them out and get the place cleaned up. All right, that'll be tomorrow's job. We'll be back to review this uh, pump up action here. We'll see how bad that is. And I'll show you how good it's going to look when we're done. Then we'll get this stuff wrapped up, and then we'll be out of here. All right, get after it. All right, let's check it out. I don't see any more black dots, do you? The only thing I see is those palm tree stains, and you can't get them up. But all the mold has gone off of here. Palm tree stains are very difficult to get off. You'd have to use a muratic acid or something. And you know what? That doesn't even take it off. I got palm tree stains on my pool deck. Been there for years, can't get it off. Anyway, it looks fantastic. The gutter in the road looks really good. You can see my job versus everybody else down the block. It just looks like crap. This one here, I usually do it when I do this job. I haven't been here about a year and a half, so it's looking like it's going to be needing it soon. All right. I'm down from Superblast Pressure Washing. That's going to be a wrap, folks. If you need anything at all, exterior, there's the number. Whoop. Give them a call, you know and get after it. We'll see you tomorrow.
Well, guys, thank you for everything. Hey, what do we do? You get after it. We get after it. Do you get after it? Always. What do you do? Get after it. At home, I Everybody gets it. after it. Hey, when he gets home, he gets after it. <laughs> hey, look at this dude up here. I bet he even gets after it. Mr. American. Get after it!